Today I'm going to be planting some seeds in Rockwell for a hydroponic garden. I don't have the garden together yet, but as soon as these seeds sprout, I'm going to have to build something for them. Okay, this is just some tap water that's chlorinated. Um, it would be a good idea to leave this out to let, let the uh, water evaporate. I mean, the chlorine evaporate. Um, it would the, the process goes faster if it's boiled. That uh, also sterilizes it, which is beneficial. Um, you can also put a air pump in it, and the bubbles will create more surface area, and the chlorine will evaporate faster. I'm just going to skip all that and um, use it anyway. I've done this before. It's um, yeah, probably not not the best way, but uh. enough of a difference for me that I've no even noticed it. Um, so, now I'm just, uh, adjusting my pH meter. And it seems to be right on the mark. Um, so let's dump this buffer solution in here. Um, so, it's tap water. Right at seven? Oh no. Yeah, this this pH meter is um, not the cheapest one you can get, but uh, it works, so can't complain with that. That's not right. This is showing it's at right at seven, which um, never been the case for me before. Hmm, 7.2. Well, I want it below neutral anyway, so I'm uh, going to add a little acid. So I get a good reading on it first. Oh, while I'm thinking of it, I'll add a few drops of Super Thrive. Uh, it's quite debatable if this stuff does anything, but, uh, you know. Anything. I think everyone's in agreement on that. I've just got in this uh, little eyedropper bottle here. Two ought to do it. <laughs> Supposedly that's enough for seven acres or some bullshit. Wow. Looks like that actually dropped the pH by uh, 0.2. That's pretty dramatic for that small amount. Just for out of curiosity, I'm going to see how much it, uh, another two drops will bring it down. stuff is pretty acidic, I guess. Maybe that's why it works. Maybe it only works in basic soil with plants that like acid. <laughs> okay, so here is a big thing of acid. Now with the dry stuff, you want to be careful not to uh, accidentally hydrate it on your skin because it's well, acidic. Um, I'm not doing a very large quantity here, so I'm just going to try a less. might be enough there. Probably better things to use than these tweezers, but uh... Mm, I 
have some large crystals on the of the pH adjuster sitting on the bottom, which will slowly dissolve and slowly drop the pH even further. Let's clean these on a rag before they start to rust and stuff. These things seem pretty cheap before you already even got them. Okay. Where we're sitting now. Yeah, it's dropping. Six four, six three, two, one. I'm aiming pretty low um, because the rock wall itself will raise the pH. I want this to be right around 5.0, maybe 5.5, but somewhere in that range. Rather than where I would want my nutrient solution down the road and full setup. Okay, that's 5.7. I don't see any crystals on the bottom anymore. So that might be a real 5.6. No, 5.6. Yeah, 5.6 is close enough for me. So I'm just going to set this aside. of this if you don't have a source of this. I mean, this, this tub will probably last me 20 years. <coughs> okay, I'm just going to set this aside. So, this is what I have for Rockwell. These are uh, 40 millimeter cubes, which is about 2 inches. Here you go, so I'm going to see if I can split these. I kind of like to have some smaller cubes for some species.
down. I'll do two of the charred. I'm not really sure what I'm going to set up for a hydroponic system for these once I get there. Um, with lettuce, and I think I might do a floating tray technique, which is uh, very easy to construct and maintain. Um, if I can get away with that with uh, other things like maybe the chard, I think I will. Not really sure if I can. Um, might build a, a little DWC for uh, some of these. I also like to set up a, a small ebb and flow. I've got a design I've been thinking about. Okay, so the little cubes have been soaking for probably about a half hour now. Um, I could let them go longer, but I won't. Just gonna shake them out just to gently, without squeezing them, and figure out which way the grain's going. Seems to be going this way, so I'm gonna plant from the top. Labeling these tiny cubes will be very difficult, but fortunately, I'm only planting one variety of tomato, so. It'll be pretty obvious. And of course I can refer to this video if I forget which variety of tomatoes that happens to be. So I just drop that guy in there, a quarter inch down, and then I'll just push the sides in so that it stays nice and humid. Let's get set that guy aside. Grab the next, give it a little shake out. Plant, so it should be easy to determine what it is. Find a nice, healthy looking seed and place it in there. Cover it up. Okay, so I've got one big cube left, and a little cube, and I've got three plants in here. Two arugulas, oh, I've also got a collard in there, but I'm just going to let that die, I guess. I've got more collards going anyway. Well, I guess this is the nicest looking arugula. Well, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try sticking two in one cube here. Since these plants are already pretty big, I'm gonna have to make a big hole to try to get all the root in there. And these guys are probably pretty unhappy from being ripped out of there. Nice little home in their, their tray. And then sitting on the bench for well, about 45 minutes now. But hopefully, at least one of these lives. So I'm just going to put these in. doesn't do a great job of hitting the center, and since these guys don't have any green on them, with the exception of those two, I'm going to um, use that little zone there for, for these while they, they sprout. Um, it's not a bad idea to keep them in a separate container, like if I had an extra one of these, probably square, I could lay it inside of this. So when I bottom water the rest of the plants, I don't have to be as careful with the pH. If you're curious how this project 
if you're curious how this project progresses and want to see how the hydroponic system turns out and how I actually end up making it, please subscribe and uh, I'm sure you'll learn something and figure out how I did it.